Welcome to Bobbin Talk. We are now in uh, Clo. We have opened the software and we see, or you should see two different windows, just like what I see. Uh, the left screen is the 3D screen, 3D window. The right screen or the right window is your 2D or pattern window. One thing that might look different on your screen is all of these tools that I have on the left side and the right side, yours are probably by default on top above each screen. So I will show you how you can change that and I will tell you why I'm doing that. So the default is for all of these tools that you see to be right on top. Now that is fine, except when you have them up on top. By default, your tools are up on top, but we can change them and we'll do that in a few seconds. So first I wanna explain that within the windows that you see, there's tools above each window and you can see that some of these tools repeat. For example, there's a sewing machine here. There's also sewing machines here. And then there's a button here, but there's no button here. That means that some of the tools are shared in both 3D and 2D window. And right now it's hard to tell that we do have a 3D and a 2D window because we have nothing open in these windows. But you will see once we open the files that some of these tools can be applied and work only in 3D window, but with some of them you can work in both windows. You also see that in here, within the window, there is another set of tools. And here, these tools are specifically for that window and you cannot activate them right now because again, there is no files. Nothing is open right now. So let's go into, before we go into the user settings, I also wanna point out that down here at the bottom, so down here, you have three little buttons. The first one has two rectangles. When you click on that, you get this particular view of the 3D and 2D window. And keep in mind that you can come right in the middle, hover over the black vertical line, and you will have the vertical uh, tool with the two arrows, and you can left click, move to the left, and move to the right, and you can make one or the other window smaller, and the other one bigger. This will come in handy, let's say that you're working more on 2D patterns and you wanna see what's happening in the 3D window, but you don't need to see the full window. For now, just keep them right in the middle, that's fine. If you come back down to the right here again, you will see the 3D and 2D. When you hover over any and all of these tools, the name of that tool appears. So this is the 3D window. If I left click on it, we have only the 3D window open. If I go back here, click on the 2D, we have only the 2D window up here. Now, if I click on the first one with the two rectangle that says 3D slash 2D, then it will show us both windows. Okay. Now, if anything gets messed up and you lose some of these things, you can always come down here to the bottom right and click on that circular tool that says reset layout. Left click on that and that will reset to the default setting. You may see that all of a sudden on the right, we had two dark windows appear that we didn't have before. So that's the property editor and the object browser. And they were here before, but they were minimized. If you wanna get rid of these windows, all you have to do is come here click on the little arrow to the right and property editor came here, click on this little arrow and now both object browser and property editor are all the way here on the right side. So that's how we activate and we open these two. You can also left click on one and they will both appear. I'm clicking on the little arrows up here to make them disappear. Another thing that you can also see is there's a little uh, there's a little a pointer here that will make them, that it would separate the window, but we don't really need that at this point. We will use a little bit later the library and the library window underneath. But right now we will go up to settings. So we'll come in Chrome, we'll come all the way up here where it says settings. We're gonna left click once on that. And we're gonna go to user settings. When that window opens, 
you're going to see the graphic options. There's nothing to do here. So don't touch and don't change anything. This might came in handy, but we don't need anything right now. We're going to click on the second thing here called view controls. And this will become evident in a few minutes. You might have to change some settings in terms of what mouse you have. If you are on a Mac, you can click here and just select regular mouse. If you have a magic mouse, you can select magic mouse. But if you just have a regular mouse, just select regular mouse. Either way, right now, when you see this window in the first section that says pan, all the way on the right in this drop down menu, you should have middle mouse button. Under zoom, you should also have middle mouse button and you can change that by clicking on that drop menu. And then down here on the rotate 3D garment, you should have right mouse button. And under pop-up menu, you should have a right mouse button. And we'll discover in a few minutes if we need to change any of your settings, uh, if your mouse doesn't work properly. And don't worry, if something doesn't work, we'll come back and we will fix it. Next, we will go to shortcuts. Uh, there's nothing you can do here. Later on, when you become really comfortable with the program, you can come here for every tool that has a shortcut. They tell you what the shortcut is. You could change some of them, for example, but we're not changing anything right now. So just go to user interface, which is the fourth choice. And the only thing I want to point out here is the unit system. In the US, we use inches. So from the drop down menu, the preset I think is inches. If you feel like it, if you wanted to, you could use centimeters or millimeters. I find that that is useful if you're creating some kind of hardware or buttons or anything small. You could come back here and change to millimeters and then work with millimeters and then come back and switch it if you need to. I'm gonna leave it at inches. Now, this is where we can change the toolbar. So you know how mine are on the left side. The reason I have them on the left side is because there is a lot more space on the left and the right. There is more space vertically on my screen than up here horizontally. The real estate up here is much smaller. So on your screens, you're probably seeing some, you're probably seeing some gray vertical lines up here and you're not seeing all of the tools. When you click on the little gray vertical lines, then the tools will appear. I personally like to see all of my tools appear all the time. I don't want to have to click and see which tool is where, and I just want to see my tools. So I'm going to go back to settings, use the settings, user interface, and under toolbar where it says 3D toolbar and 2D toolbar, 3D toolbar is the toolbar for your 3D window. So you're going to go click here and you can designate it to the left side. And if you like, you can designate the 2D toolbar to the right side. You could also designate it to the left side if you wanted to. So then it would look like this. I have all my tools on the left side. Not a problem. You can set it up however you like. I like mine to be on the left and right. You can leave them on the top too, whatever you feel. I just want to be able to see all my tools all the time. And I don't like to have tools here because I like to have that clean, white area in between and just see the work. But again, it's totally up to you. You can put them on the bottom if you like, but you're not going to be able to see all of them. So that's it for the settings. There's nothing else really that we need to change here. Uh, this, yeah, everything else is fine. If you like what you saw in this video, if you learned something, please like the video. Feel free to leave any comments. I'm happy to answer your questions. And please subscribe to Bobbin Talk so you don't miss any of the new videos coming up. Thank you so much for watching.